building massive legs at home sounds like an impossible task. Unless, of course, you have a garage gym with a squat rack and a ton of weight. But it can be done. Today, we're going to be focusing on the quadriceps. The reason they're called the quads is because they're made up of four main muscles. The rectus femoris, vastus intermedius, vastus lateris, and vastus medialis. By choosing the right exercises, we'll ensure we're hitting each of these muscles so that we can get the most out of our leg training at home. We'll start with the vastus medialis. That's the teardrop muscle right by our knee. It's very important muscle when it comes to stabilizing the knee. And when it's weak, it can result in knee injury and pain. In our squat, it's activated in the top part of the movement. That lasts 20 or 30 percent before we lock out our legs. This is also where we're the strongest in our squat. So we can hit technical failure because we can no longer do a full squat in good form without fully exhausting this muscle. Bands can help with this as they provide the greatest amount of resistance at the top part of the movement. You can buy bands that are different thicknesses. Mine are color coded with green being the easiest and gray being the hardest. Now as with any muscle on the body, including legs, in order to make them grow, you need to apply progressive overload. You can do this by gradually using heavier bands or more than one band at a time. You can also slow down the pace or increase the number of reps. Another excellent option is to work your legs unilaterally with both reverse lunges and Bulgarian split squats working well here. Another exercise that really hits that teardrop muscle is leg extensions. If you do them with your knees starting in a neutral position and turn them outward as you extend your legs, it will emphasize the vastus medialis more. This is another exercise that I do with bands. While we're on leg extensions, if you do the movement starting with your knees in a neutral position and turn your legs inward as you extend your legs, it hits the vastus lateralis more, which is the muscle that gives you the quad sweep and outer thigh thickness. Squatting with your legs together really hits the outer thigh area as well. I like to do this with dumbbells as a suitcase squat and finish with part reps in the bottom half of the movement. With the dumbbells, you don't have to stand up to rack the weight once you've fully exhausted the vastus lateralis. You just set the dumbbells on the floor. Once again, this can be done unilaterally. I particularly like the Bulgarian split squats, especially when you finish with the partial repetitions at the bottom. I want to talk a bit about the adductors. While they aren't part of the quads, if you want to build a big leg, working your adductors is key. You can really see this when you look at a picture of Tom Platz's legs. Now we probably don't want to develop our adductors to the level Tom did, but from a performance standpoint, having strong adductors protects us from groin pulls and helps to stabilize our hips in motion, which can improve our running and sprinting. I like to do sumo front squats to work my adductors, as that wide stance transfers much of the load to the inner thigh. A great unilateral movement for the adductors is a side lateral lunge. At home, probably the best way to isolate our adductors is with an adductor side plank, where you lay on your side with your elbow bent and your arm at a 90 degree angle from your body, holding yourself up off the floor with one foot on a bench or a chair. Then you raise your hips up as your lower foot comes off the floor and presses into the underside of the bench. This can be held for time or you can do reps, even adding weight with a dumbbell or a plate as you gain strength. The next muscles are the vastus intermedius and rectus femoris. The vastus intermedius is found underneath the rectus femoris and its primary job is to extend the knee, so it gets work quite solidly with squats, lunges, and leg extensions. The rectus femoris is a bit different. It is a visible muscle that creates separation and detail in the quads. In addition to aiding the knee in flexion, it's also responsible for hip flexion and is heavily used in sports like football and soccer. It's sometimes even referred to as the kicking muscle. It gets worked with all major leg movements, but if you wanted to isolate it and really feel it work, then you'd lay on your back. Now you could do this on the floor with ankle weights, but I like to use my bench and bands. A combination of ankle weights and bands is even better. Either way, you bend one knee while keeping the other knee straight. Then you lift the straight leg up until it's parallel with the bent one, then slowly lower it down again. One of the benefits of knowing how to isolate all these different muscles is it allows you to pre-exhaust them before moving into a compound movement, which enables you to hit failure with less weight. That way, you can keep working out at home while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.